Good morning everyone, it's now time for another Diva Glitz Lifestyle Vlog. So this morning I'm going to the gym. So, just going to get to it. I've got my gym outfit on. I'm starting over fresh and I'm going to make sure that I get a routine schedule in place. And I'm going to stick to it until it needs to change might have to perk it up here and there but i'm gonna go gym this morning and then i'm gonna come back and do some bits and bobs so this is the gym outfit just got adidas crop top on which is nice i like this one i'm gonna buy some more adidas tracksuit bottoms and i'm gonna put on some trainers i've just got my hat on because i'm gonna go outside in a minute it's now coming on to winter so i've just got a pink woolly hat on as well so i'm gonna put my trainers on just put these on let me just tidy up this desk an absolute mess as always all i see is a shame but I've just been having a little bit of a rest from recording that night was too bright and I just want to get back on track with it all you know because I love doing YouTube I think YouTube is a really beautiful platform you know so let's get started this beautiful day I've got quite a few things to do today One. I need to get another Adidas tracksuit. I've got blue tracksuit bottoms, but I don't have the blue top, so I'm going to buy the blue top for the blue tracksuit bottoms and then probably get a red Adidas tracksuit and some other tracksuits. The tracksuits are so comfortable when you can go to the gym. It's not easy when you want to um, dress nice, but at the same time, you've got to exercise. So I find that I always want to wear easy wear all of the time and I don't get a chance to dress up much no more because I have to train and get my body in a strong position so I've got to go and do some stretching and I'm going to use some gym equipment the running machine and the bike and then I'm going to have a um, steam and a sauna. So I'm now ready to go. I've got my coat on as well. This is a nice handy coat. It's like a windbreaker, but it's also very stylish as well. So I like it. Put that on. So let's get ready to rumble. That means let's get ready to go. So I'm just packing a gym bag. The last bits and bobs in it. Let's it up. <laughs> It's a tea bag form and it's quite watered down so I'm going to have to buy some honey so I can make it raw honey and lemon. So I'm just going to drink that. I haven't had my breakfast but I've got some grapes in the fridge. Mm. Make sure you have a hot drink in the morning. So needed. Mm. It's nice. Mm. 
be positive. So, before I go gym, I'm having something to eat because I haven't had breakfast this morning and I didn't, well, I did want to eat, but I just wanted to get out of the house. So I didn't bother to eat any breakfast this morning. So I'm at Costa and I went to Marks and Spencer's to get some food. There's a few people here and it's actually really nice how quiet it is. So I got myself a vegetable samosa. I really like this from Marks and Spencer's. It's really nice and I brought this as well. This is vegan. Where's the, um, oh there it is, Plant Kitchen. And that's what it is. And um, I'm gonna try it out. It's got a dip with it, a vegan dip. And as always, the famous green tea to calm me down. So I'm gonna have that right now. And then I'm gonna go to the gym. So this is very nice. So I'm trying to figure out what to eat nowadays because it's so difficult. So I think I'm just gonna go Marks and Spencer's. I'm not really interested in going to restaurants at the moment. Saving those pennies. And also, have to um, be wise about what I'm putting inside of my body as well. So I just want to have fruit and veg. And vegan foods. So I'm being very strict with myself now. So no junk food. Just vegan. Fruit and veg, vegetarian food. I'm gonna try new dishes as well. Um, I'm gonna start cooking more at home as well. And everything will be a-okay on the eating side. So be mindful what you're putting inside your body and don't eat too much junk food either. In the long haul, it's gonna mess you up, you know? So, I'm gonna start learning new recipe. I'm gonna make a stir fry tonight. So you can join me while I make my stir fry today. Um, I'm just gonna enhance my cooking experiences and just keep learning little bit by little bit. I don't overwhelm myself. This is so nice. It's so important to eat breakfast in the morning. Just don't have time, a lot of the time to eat.
when you least expect it, things work out beautifully. So I'm really, really happy in what sort of day I'm having so far. So sometimes days just work out how you don't expect it and they're probably the best days ever. My eyebrows have come up, I haven't got my eyebrow pen, but never mind. So go with the flow, make sure you enjoy yourself and don't overthink it, just go with the flow. Good morning everyone. Anyway, I just started my hair. It is Tuesday today and um, I forgot to vlog it. So I said I wanna show you what I do to my hair in the morning to refresh the curls because it was looking really <sighs> destroyed this morning. And I was like, what am I gonna do to it? How am I gonna revamp it? Didn't make my aggregated herbs. So, last night, so conditioning came to my mind. So this conditioner is very good. Mark Hill's excellent conditioner. I've got this one and I've got this one. <laughs> as well so i've got two mark hill conditioners and they are brilliant so i was just led to use this one today because i think i've used it once now nourishes thick hair or prone to frizz so i didn't even know that before i used it so that's good this one and um so basically i just wet my whole hair and then I applied, and I'm going to just apply a little bit more. I applied a good amount of conditioner. I have got conditioner in it already, but I'm going to put some more up the top because there's frizz up the top, up the front. Make sure you condition your hair if you've got your curls and you wet your hair, it will restore your hair and make it strong and breakage free because my hair was so dry after the gym yesterday and I didn't put a shower cap up on I'm not going to do that again so I'm just running my fingers through to get the conditioner to run through I've got my wide tooth comb going to comb it through just go back so you can see. Just go through, especially the back. The back feels dry still. So I need to get the conditioner all throughout to the very ends. I wonder if I should put more in. No. I think that's fine. And then I'm running my fingers through so I can get more curl definition. I can use a denim brush, but this way is working effectively nicely. Effectively nicely, does that make sense? But it doesn't have to rhyme. Everything doesn't have to rhyme. And the more I do this, the more the conditioner is absorbing in my hair. Very good. So spend the time, maybe five minutes, doing this so it penetrates in the hair a lot. In this, you know, like that. So now I've finished in the bathroom. Just going to give my hair a quick hairstyle today. Nothing too complicated today. What does that mean? I'm just going to go gym. I've got to go gym every day. Motivation, I was told, to do motiv to motivate me. So I'm just putting my hair up in a high ponytail. And that's it really. I've been having it out a lot so that's good and it's just not growing. I don't know why. I have to put it. I haven't got around to putting it because I went to the hairdresser and the woman didn't have an appointment. So I've got to go back there. 
So I'm just going to have it up like this. Give myself some side. That's it. So I'm going to use these two. This is for under eyes. And this is vitamin C serum. So I'm going to put the under eye one on first. So in. Just put a couple of drops. Under my eye, and massage it. Lovely. Take the time out for you. Remember, morning and night, because my eyes have been puffy due to the computer, and then I go to the sauna, gym, jacuzzi, and then I rub them. It makes my eyes puffy and bad because of um, tired. So I'm going out in a minute and I'm going to do some presentation work. I've got an event I'm putting on with my cousin and I've been asked to do a little talk. So you will be joining us. So I just put the vitamin C on. Vitamin C is excellent for the skin. So we go. Put it there. There. And it's nice. It feels nice as well. I love putting vitamin C on. It's just like it absorbs in the skin. And you can feel it going in. And it also, when I massage my face, it massages my chest. Nice. Facials are powerful, you know. You really should give yourself a facial morning and night. So that's that's looking fresher than fresh. And now I'm just gonna use this this morning because it's starting to get a bit shabby, meaning I need to buy a new one. This is Fenty. Um Butter drop. Has it got a drop? I'm gonna buy another one anyway. I think she's got a new cream out as well. I'm sure of it. Butter strawberry butter drop. And it truly is butter drops. They melt. I put too much on my hand. It melts in the skin. Very excellent cream. I'm impressed. So I put that on my skin quite a lot my face is gonna look very oily but you know it's good for any fine lines that you may have especially if you're older put it around your lips and over here where the crow lines like to come and wrinkle that because you smile on the eyes just get it all over the face, you know. And the neck, I'll do the neck as well. Oh, yeah. And give that neck a massage. And now, all day, my skin is going to be feeling fantastic. Yes. Now, I'm going to do my under eyes. I've got two eyebrows. Let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah. Let's do this. Why not? As always, brush up the eyes. I need. I've lost the one I had. I don't know where it's gone. I had another one. This one's rubbish. Well, my daughter hasn't got it either. So we'll do this. Right there. my eyebrows all the time because this is the time that I feel more relaxed. So 
time. Peaceful eyebrow time. I call it. And let me finish it off. See you soon. So now I've done my hair with the gel because I actually wanted to make it look a bit more nicer, I suppose. The only word I can use. So, you know, I really need to take my time up to do edges because I just don't take my time up to do them. So I've done my hair. I had to go away from the phone to finish it off because I couldn't see what I was doing. So that's done. Hair's done. I'm going to the gym. I'm just going to get my bag ready. I've got to brush my teeth as well, I just remembered. And um, I'm just going to have a hot drink. And then I'm going to go. See you soon. Mate, I'm just going, getting ready to go out. I meant to leave earlier. But I was talking to someone on the phone, so I'm having my tea. I'm gonna, I've got this, I'll show you it anyway. This tea is natural detox aid, so very good. I've got to have this pure tea. We need to detox, we're supposed to really detox every single night, so I think I'm gonna buy some more of them teas and drink it at night. I've had it in the day, which is fine. This is nettle and mint, so it's natural detox tea, which is the best tea to have. Natural detox. This is from Hollet and Barrett. I'm sure you could get it online. I'm drinking that now. A bit brushed off my feet. Just got a pack here. Got to see what it is. It might be the book that I brought. But I bought a book and I gave it to somebody to read. So I had to buy another one. And so let me see if it, it's probably the same book that I bought before. Yes, it is. So that's a sign. I'm going to bring this out with me to read. Secret of Millionaire Mind it is. Think and grow. Think rich to get rich. And it works. So I've been talking to someone about designing this house and we're starting to put the plans together. And so it's going to take some time. It's not going to happen overnight, but I'm going to let you know about the creation of pulling together a house. So millionaire mindset, you can see it, you can have it, but you've got to believe it to receive it. Anyway, I'm going now. I'll see you later, people. I said bye, but I want to show you this now because I've got a few things to get on with. So I've got to put everything in order. So I haven't got a cover for my iPad. I'm going to do some work outside. So I've got my notebook that I have to work from this book. And I've got another book in my bag that I'm going to take out. I, meant, I was meant to leave so much more earlier because it's getting wet and I should have covered it. So this book is what I'm reading, which is good. I will put that in here. Here. And it's all to fit in here. And it will be safe and protected. Until I get, I think I'm going to order a cover for the iPad. Soon. So I'm going to put that in there. Then I'm going to have my phone. So this is everything I need today to do my presentation and also to help my mindset think positively because we're in a time where we need more money. So we do need to read books. Your gas has gone up, your electric has gone up. So you have to find ways to utilise more wealth, to see more wealthfully as well and not to see scarcity at all. Oh yeah, also, and I'm bringing this book as well, Managing Your Money. So I, do, I, I only read like a couple of pages, obviously I've got quite a few books there. But um, where is the uh, folder? I think I've left it. Oh, it's somewhere. Put that in there as well. And then, um, I'm not going to 
a pen for me today. So I've got this sorted out. I got this bottle of water from Marks and Spencer's, but the bottle is so beautiful that I'm going to use it as a water bottle. I can't believe how beautiful it is. And I've got this one. In fact, I should use this one. This one's smaller, but it's nice. I'm just going to have some prune juice. Prune juice is a good detoxer as well. So I'm going to pour this out. I'm going to buy some more prune juice today. You should really drink prune juice every single day. Very good for the body. There we go. There it goes. Haven't got enough, but it will do. It's all go, go, go in this house all of the time, you know. Right. Let me just finish this bag off now. It's just a lot. Everything is just long all of the time for me. So, put this in the bag. I haven't got enough space for the much I had on me. So, it's a shame. I need a bag where everything just fits into one bag. I'm really not interested. Let me see. Interested. Interested in having those of bags. and a half. See if it can fit at the side here. And I've got my hand sanitizer there. So I'll put that in there. That there. I wonder if that was staying. I've got to be good at packing bags. <laughs> I gotta be good at packing, but it's not deep enough. So we'll see how it gets. Because if it drops out, it's gonna smash. So I think I'm not a hundred percent happy with that staying there. I think it's just gonna mess up, isn't it? So that's better. So. Just put the same jacket. I've got the same clothes on as yesterday because I'm not. I'm being a bit lazy, to be honest. And I was meant to buy some leggings yesterday, so I could put on a whole new outfit on today. But I just didn't do it, you know. And now it's twelve twenty, and I was meant to leave at least eleven o'clock. But it's only an hour and a half later. So it was my windbreaker. I'll see you soon. I hope it doesn't rain. It's been another long day and I'm outside waiting for the bus. And I've just done a little bit of food shopping and my day is not over. Oh, my eyebrows have come off. Oh my God. So basically don't watch the eyebrows because I didn't realize. So now I'm waiting for the bus. It said it's coming in 15 minutes. So I'm gonna have to wait 15 minutes for this bus now. So I've done a little bit of food shopping, so I'll show you what I do when I get home. I've got a few treats as well, which is nice. I bought myself two coats because I found two coats today. And I bought some leggings as well for the gym because I need more leggings. I only found one pair, but it's okay. We just have to do and I've got to be grateful for the two pairs. So it's a beautiful evening, to be honest. It's feeling hot still. We're lucky we still got the hot weather. Not cold yet. I'm dreading when it gets really cold. My bus is here, so I see. No, it's not. That's a six foot, it's a four. I don't drive, I can't drive, but that's okay. Nothing wrong with London. I mean, London transit. Nothing wrong with Milton Keynes transport, you know. It's all good if you didn't have it. A lot of people would not be happy because not everyone can drive. And we can't have 
every single person driving because it'd be like New York. So anyway, I'm just enjoying the outdoors. The video's not going to be too much longer because my videos are always long and people have been complaining they're too long and just like a film. I've been trying to cut them down. So I'm going to go home, make a stir fry. You can watch me do the stir fry. And um, that's another day over. And I'm probably more than likely finished the vlog for tomorrow. More than likely. Because I need to edit it and upload it because... I'm going out on Saturday with my best friend. Haven't seen her for four years. So I do want to vlog that occasion. Okay, see you soon. So I'm at home now. And I have to cook. And I'm going to show you my outfits later. My coats. So anyway, I'll show you what I brought in shopping. I got some donuts, naughty but nice. I got some lime bars, I love them. I got some crisps that I ate at the bus stop because I was hungry. I got milk and chocolate. I love these. Chin chins from Jamaica. Prune juice. Prune juice, good for detoxing, as I've said. I'm going to be cooking this today. Prawns with my sauce. It's going to taste nice. Got another milk bar. Nice. I've got a pack of munch to munch. And I bought a salmon. Went down a little bit in price, not much. I've got to cook that today. Got some honey, gonna make some honey and lemon in a minute. Haven't had that for a little while. I bought some paste because I want to put it on my rice. Did we get this one day before for the rice? Remember for the rice? Another honey. Look at it. Look at it. Ballot as well for paste for rice. To put it in the rice, I'll show you. Was it that one that we had? And um, corner paste as well. So I've got all these pastes, I'm going to mix them up in masbati rice. It tastes nice, really, really nice. So that's all that I brought for food. So let me get starting with the cooking. Now I'm going to cook this prawns. We're going to season them up in a minute. And this salmon, I'm going to cook, I'm going to season it up. Joe, do you think you can see that the salmon come up? And we've got um, broccoli. We've got tender broccoli as well. Um, I don't think I'm going to use any carrots, to be honest. We've got over there. And some green beans and some mushrooms. Because it's been in the fridge for a long time. And one pepper. I'm just cutting up the onions right now. Okay. Great. Season the salad.
So this is the end result of the food. I'm going to eat it now. It's come out nice, array of different flavours. The bed, the rice is there underneath. This is the prawns. So I've made a rich sauce with it, the mushrooms I showed you. This is the salmon made with some noodles. It's come out beautiful, so I'm going to eat it right now. Hello, good morning. It is Wednesday. Well, it's good afternoon. It's not good morning. I haven't done my hair today. It's still in the same hairstyle that I was in yesterday. I've just been kicked back in relaxing and I say that a lot. My tripod is too high, so I've got to put it down like this. So basically looking a bit worse for wear, but I'm going to get ready in a minute. Time goes so fast, but I've just been meditating on some things. My edges are looking rough, rougher than rough. So it's Wednesday, yes. Oh my God, what's that? Anyway, no, it's not what I thought it was. So let me just say that I bought some coach yesterday and I was too tired to show it. So here, I'm going to show it now. Now. I should just try them on for you. Let me put this back. This coat is really nice. I like this one the best. This one is lovely. So I got it from TK Maxx. Let me take it this way because that is too bright. And it's got buttons and it's warm as well. It's a short half jacket, but it's warm. Do the buttons up. That button. It's cozy. Pull it up. And up to the top. So it's very warm. It's stylish. It's from Zara. It's got like pull strings here. It's pull strings. You put it and you put it under so you can have it as wide as you want or as tight as you want. And there's a pull string here as well. So I suppose you can have it long as well. So you put it underneath like that. It's got these arms on it. Like look at the arms. Different style, you know. And hands go in there. Little puffer jacket. It's got a little bit of style to it, like trend. You put the arms up like that. So that's that jacket. And this one is a napper palm jacket, but this is like a belly top jacket. This one is very clever. This is from TK Maxx as well. I think I'm very happy with this. So it's a crop top. Um, puffer. It's got a zip, this one. Crop, can you imagine a crop top puffer? So I weren't going to buy it because it's not very warm, but I said for fashion purposes and you know, do it like um, photos. And then I can wear it like in the spring as well, even though it's quite warm, but it's not very warm for winter. It's quite thin. But I can wear it with a belly top, excuse the belly, and like maybe some leggings or something, or a camisole top I can wear it with. And um, it looks nice. Just plain, but it's good enough. So I can wear it, I suppose, um, with a, a thick polar neck, I suppose. Anyway, I'll show you in the future what I pair it with, okay? And that is that. That's nice. Has it got a drawstring? Oh, it's got a drawstring on it as well. I didn't even realize. So that's good. Also, you can make it into a tighter jacket. That's very good. Very impressed with that. So that's from Zara as well. Zara. Got to make sure that we keep very warm this winter because it's going to be cold. So I've got 
some added down some leggings and I actually got them on a sale which is good because my red ones were I think 28 pounds and these ones were 15 and they're blue but I'm very happy where's the added down side oh there's the added down side so I got them these ones so that's good for 15 so I'm happy about that so I can wear them to the gym and I got red ones and I got black ones I need some grey ones and green ones as well so this is the last day I'm going to be vlogging some books came through the door as you know I always buy my books so I do read a lot so I'm going to um, show you, and it's amazing. I got these for three pound fifty. I can't believe it. Even though you can listen to the audios on YouTube, it was very generous. So this is about money, automatic wealth. So it's by Wallace D. Losses Wattles. The secret of a millionaire mind, including As a Man Thinketh, James Allen, Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill, The Way to Wealth, Benjamin Franklin, The Science of Getting Rich. So the bestseller on this book gives sound advice about money or how to obtain it. Just shoot to the stars and stay focused on your dreams and it will happen. There is nothing that we can imagine that we can't do. So what are we waiting for? Let's begin the journey of self-fulfillment. So this is good because it's all in one book. And I can't believe I found it. It was meant to be. And you can just read a couple of pages a day. These books are for life. So don't feel like you have to rush through them. These books are continuously for studying all of the time. And they are very, very good. And you do end up accumulating money from them. It's not a lie. They work. It's just that I haven't had the time to study them as much as I want because I was sceptical about some things. So it's got in here, As a Man Thinketh, Think and Grow Rich, which I've got that book already. The Way to Wealth, The Science of Getting Rich, and I've read The Science of Getting Rich as well. I've not read The Way to Wealth before, but like I said, to have it all in one book, I thought I, I, thought I didn't believe it was true when I saw it. Absolutely amazing that it's all in one. So I will be reading this bit by bit, step by step. And I'm going to see what comes together for me, you know. And another book that I found, this one. So this is The Wisdom, which is good. So this includes, by the same author of Wallace D. Wattles, The Science of Getting Rich. And that's, again, is the science of getting rich is in this book as well, isn't it? Yeah. The science of being great and the science of being well. And I bought this one because I wanted to read about the science of being well because I'm very interested in health. So health is perfectly natural function, normal living. There's a principle of life in the universe. It is a living substance from which all things are made. This different substance permeates, permeates and fills the inner space of the universe in its invisible state. It is in and through all forms and yet all forms are made of it. To illustrate, suppose that a very fine and highly diffusible aqueous vapour should per permeate and penetrate a block of ice. The ice is formed from living water and is living water in form, while the vapour is also living warmer, unformed, permeating a form made from itself. This illustration will explain how living substance permeates all forms made from it. All life comes from it. It is all the life there is. The universe of substance is a thinking stuff and takes the form of thought. The thought of a form held by it creates the form and the thought of a notion. Motion causes the motion. It cannot help thinking and so is forever creating. And it must move on towards fuller and more complex expression of itself. This means towards more complete life and more perfect function. And that means towards perfect health. So if you think health, your body will move towards health. That's what it's saying. So you may think the words are big doesn't matter the words go in and it forms 
what it's saying and it will give you understanding unconsciously and through experience and if you want to look up the words in the dictionary you can but sometimes it's just nice to just be and let it just absorb in and then you just live what it's saying very important to read even if you read one page a day okay so i'm gonna go and make breakfast now well no it's lunch now it's not breakfast i haven't even had breakfast now i'm gonna make excuse the noise i'm gonna make french bread i just fell for french bread today so i'm gonna put that in there i use two eggs years and I mean years I don't know why I felt for it today so I'm just going to cut it in half I might as well just put it together and do that cut it in half and make it look nice and neat and I'm going to eat it in a minute no I'm just going to have another detox tea as well. I don't know if I've got tea or one pack. I'm going to look in a minute. So I've got lots more teas, but I'm just going to have this this morning for detoxing. I mean, I keep saying this morning. It's this afternoon. And I'm going to make some honey and lemon later. Got my water. So the water goes in. So I've got all this water to drink. I might put a dash of lemon in it as well. But I'm going to make hot honey and lemon in a minute. I'm going to make it later, but I might as well just do it right now get the lemons out i'm gonna have one i need to buy some more lemon i didn't find lemons there's the lemon anyway so you can't even see me so i've got a lemon let me bring it over here because my tripod is very big as i've said before i need to just cut it in half and then get just put that in here. I 
it's nice to have honey and lemon every single day. If you can't have it in the morning, make sure you have it at night because it's very important for your system. And kale and um, spinach as well. Very important for your system, kale and spinach. So I've got the honey. I just got this from Sainsbury's for cheap. It's about 75p. So I, I do use quite a lot of honey as well. So I'm going to put the hot water in. If you don't want to do too much work, you can mix your honey and lemon in different content or a massive container, like something big or one litre bottle and like squeeze like five lemons. Oh, that's a bit too hot. Squeeze five lemons and just put a whole like jar of honey in and then you can have it over three days where well, you've just got your honey and lemon in the fridge and then you can warm it up in a pot or you can warm it up in the microwave so i'm going to probably get about two cups out of this but i'm going to let it cool down and then i'll put it in the fridge because i'm not drinking it yet because i actually like it cold as well but make sure you put hot water in and then let it cool down don't use cold water so i'm going to drink my tea i'm drinking my tea i've sorted out my breakfast and i've got the water for later i'm going to put a hint of i don't know what i'm going to put in it i'm going to cut this later as well this melon you can't see it in my melon i'm going to cut it later for not dinner, but I'm just going to have it. It needs to be cut. I've got my apples and pears. So, no, I don't have anything. I, ha I could have put no. orange in it. I don't have no orange. So, I've got um, beetroot as well. So, I might just blend some beetroot and put it in here. Because I do like to have some type of um, different taste. Because there's no point doing lemon because I've just done a lemon drink. So, I'm going to blend some beetroot. And put the water that's in here in the blender and just mix it all up. Maybe I should just do it right now, isn't it? Might as well get it over and done with instead of talking about it. Because it needs to get done. Right, so I'm going to put the water in here. The deep root is in there. Put that in, you can see. So there's about one, two, three, four. There's five little ones in there. So let's put this water in and then transfer the transfer the water back in there. And like that. There's more. Did you see that this filled up? And now I've added beetroot, it's gonna give me more. Interesting, isn't it? Love this bottle, I got it from uh, Marks Expensive. It's actually a water bottle. Can you believe it? I should have, I should have used a sieve now, no more can fit in. So I'm gonna put the rest in a cup and I'm going to put this in the fridge for it to chill and it will taste much nicer when it's cold. So I'm happy about that in here. Good stuff. So I'm going to put the water in and it's filled it up. 
good. Nice. So that needs to be washed. That needs to be washed. And I'm going to put the tissue in the bin. So we got this. Then I've got my breakfast. Then I've got my tea. Oh yeah, and I've done honey and lemon. So I've done quite a lot this morning. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe and share. And let everybody know about the Diva Group Lifestyle channel. Let's help each other grow. I grow, you grow, we all grow together. That's what it's about. That is the motto. That is the slogan. Let's get word out there. I grow, you grow, we all grow together. You grow, I grow if I meet you. And we all grow together. So peace, live good, be kind, spread love to the world as we need it desperately. Love you all. Mm -hmm.